What's up, everyone? It's time to geek out again. All right, this is for the web designers and developers who are like me and like to geek out on just awesome tools and resources, things that improve our productivity, but also are fun to go ahead and use and try out. Today, I got three tools that I wanna share with you, and all three of them are tools that I use on a daily basis, are super helpful with my workflow, and we're just gonna have fun with this. Now, my feature tool is gonna to be at the end. The third one is always gonna be like my number one feature tool, so make sure to check that out. And if you wanna continue geeking out and finding new tools and resources, drop them inside the comments, hit that like button and subscribe. You know all that good YouTube stuff, it really does help out. All right, let's go ahead and get started now with tool number one, and that is gonna be Snippets Lab. Now, this one is only for the Mac users out there. Unfortunately, it's not on PC, but if you do have a Mac, you should definitely check this one out. Now, this one right here is not a normal text editor. In fact, it's not really a text editor or to be used as something that'll replace your text editor like Sublime Text, VS Code, and so on. What this is, it allows us to build libraries of our code snippets. So let me show you. Here is how it looks and how it works. And this is also how I use it inside my work. Workflow. Now, I've been using this for the last month, and it has really been fun to use, but has made things a whole lot easier. So, I do a lot of Elementor tutorials, and a lot of them that I do, I have little bits of code snippets to copy and paste. That way, you don't have to use plugins, because you guys know me, I don't like to use plugins if I don't need to. So, what I've been doing lately is anytime I have a function I want to add, something like hide and show a sticky header uh, on scroll. What I do is I go ahead and just put it here into my library so I could use it again later and it's easy to find. And then same thing with PHP functions across WordPress in general. I use a lot of these special little functions that usually we would use a plugin for, something like fixing an aspect ratio on Gutenberg because images by default for videos don't come out right. This fixes it or something like adding a CSS class for logged in users, so on. We got I got a lot of these right here. And before, I used to put these like in a file on my computer with all, the, it, was a bit, it was hard to organize. And then I would use GitHub, but I wouldn't be on GitHub as much because I, I sometimes I just get lazy and don't wanna go to another website. But this has made everything so much easier and it's kind of fun. The interface is great. Uh, there's all kinds of settings you could do in there and really customize it, change the look and feel uh, as you like. But the one thing I like is it's clean and easy to manage. It's fun to use too. And it syncs across devices. So I usually work on my desktop, but I go out a lot to coffee shops to work on my laptop. So all the code syncs in the cloud. It's right there. Now you can find Snippets Lab inside the App Store. I think I paid around five or six dollars for it. It was really cheap. It was only a few bucks and definitely worth a few dollars. This made it so much easier for me to just maintain and manage the code snippets and make sure I don't lose them. That way I could also use them again later. Tool number two is going to be Pitch. Now what this is, it's a software that allows us to easily make very creative slide decks. These are decks that could be used for presentations, for proposals, for brand guides, for capability decks. There's all kinds of ways we could use this. Here's my account right here, and if we go here, you can see I've been using it for a whole lot of different situations. I've been using it for courses, for workshops, even project proposals. I've been using it to send out sales pages, something like this. A uh, client wants to ask about our SEO plans. I have this set up really easy, modern, clean, it's fun. And this right here took me about 10 minutes to put together, no kidding. Once all the content is there, of course, but let me show you how this works. So let's say you got a new project coming up, you just had a talk with a client and you gotta send out a proposal. We can go ahead, click on new presentation, but we'll go to the template library. To get started, we have this large library of pre-built templates. And I've been using Pitch quite a bit these last six months. And since I've been using it, I see templates are continuously being added. Now these templates, if you look in, you got some that are like sales decks, you got some that are like strategic planning, you got some like right here that are brand guidelines, all kinds of different situations that us as creatives can use. 
Now, let's say for an example, we have a proposal we wanna make for a client. So we could go and use the search filter right here. And you could take a look at find a style that works for you. Let's say uh, we like this style right here, agency pitch. Let's click on that right here. And you could get a good idea of what this is going to look like. Take a look at your slides. Let's say, okay, this one looks great right here. Uh, we like the style. Everything in it looks cool. And we could use this as our proposal. You could go ahead and select now, use the template, and then start editing it yourself. So let's say we want to create our first page. So I'll go ahead and click on this one. Then we could edit this. No, our brand name. And then adding new slides is super easy. We just click on new slide. We find out what do we want to go next. Maybe we want to put a table of contents next. Then we could go through and kind of just create the whole thing right from here. Let's put something about our team, a little bit about us, a little bit more about us. Now let's go to uh, the project right here. We could find something for the prices. I probably actually, we could change this, like our prices. And then like right here, I would go in and edit like, you know, uh, mock-up designs. And then put in something here. Well, you see where I'm getting at? Everything is styled up is super easy to use. Now this is a part I really like. So say like, I really don't like this font. It doesn't match our brand style and these colors don't match our brand style either. Well, we could go here to our slide style. We could click on new style and then we could customize everything. Let's go ahead and give it a name, our brand. And let's change it up. Now I'm gonna change this font. I'm gonna change it to Boson. It's a font that we've been using. Now you can see all of our styles have changed. All of our fonts have changed. Let's say instead of this blue right here, we want, no, I don't use green. So let's say we want to change this and we use blue. Now we could save it. And when we go over to our slide style, we could now select on our brand and everything is going to change to our brand. What I like about this tool is it makes it really fast and easy to create this creative well-designed decks that we can send out and stand out. Definitely, we're gonna stand out more than our competition, especially without having to spend so much time trying to design a proposal. Also, this opens up other possibilities for us to stand out and create items like brand guides for our clients. We could create something like a capabilities deck. Like, do you ever have a client, a potential client that asks, hey, what do you guys do? What are you good at? Well, if you have a capabilities deck made, this shows exactly what we do. You can send that out to clients as well. So this right here, there is a free plan and the free plan is pretty good, just free. Only thing is there is a watermark or uh, the logo of pitch inside the PDF download, but there's also the pro plan, which unlocks a whole bunch of stuff as well. And it's pretty cheap. It's like eight to $10 a month. All right, now this brings us to tool number three, and this is this video's highlighted and featured tool. That is going to be Studio Cart. I saved Studio Cart for the end because this is a powerful tool. Like this is something that I've been using for the last nine months on my own personal site. And I have just been blown away by how good this is and the power in it. It's incredible. And the growth that I've seen in these last nine months that the developers and team behind Studio Cart have been making with it. Studio Cart, this is a tool that allows us to sell things on our WordPress website. And it's, it's kind of like a funnel builder as well. It's not like WooCommerce at all, where WooCommerce is more just e-commerce with e-commerce functionality. This is geared more towards like creators who are creating courses, coaching, or just singular items. It has funnel builders like upsells, order bumps, two-step checkouts, things like that. It focuses on the conversion rates. And it's also lightweight. See, when I was putting out my course last year, uh, I went through that research stage of trying to find out what is the best way to sell my course. I did not want to use WooCommerce because it's chunky, it's heavy, and it doesn't really have that good checkout experience without adding a bunch of customizations or other plugins to it. And I was leaning more towards Thrive Cart. 
Thrivecart is a third party integration tool, but it's like a funnel builder, something you can integrate into your WordPress website. It's, it's a cart. You know, that's what it is. It's a cart functionality, but it has the funnel building parts of it as well. It has the order bumps, the upsells, the coupons, all the things that you would like to see inside of a checkout process, a payment process that is geared towards conversion rate optimizations. So I was about to get this and I almost bought it. And if we look at the price of this, it would have been you got to get the pro version it would have been 690 bucks and i was really close to paying for it but then i got super lucky and i found this on AppSumo. and i'm an AppSumo junkie i'm always buying things on AppSumo. but every now and then buying things on AppSumo, i find a golden nugget and this was one of the biggest golden nuggets i ever found on AppSumo because i had no idea how good it was going to be and that how good it was going to get and let me show you really quickly how i have this set up on my own website so here say we're going to go to courses and check out one of our courses right here well, everything is done with Studio Cart. Like I built this out with Elementor right here. We could go ahead and purchase the course. And this is all Studio Cart right here. Everything is fast. It's not chunky. It's really quick. It's snappy. It doesn't harm the overall performance of the site. Another thing I really like about this is we could go to my account. And we could create an account dashboard, which is right here. And this is for uh, our customers. Anybody who were to make a purchase, they can manage their subscription. If they wanted to cancel their subscription, they could cancel it right in here. So it's really easy. I really like that. Everything could be managed back here by the customer. If you wanted to get an invoice, the invoices are right in here as well. And all this right here is built within Studio Card. I haven't had to add any third party plugins to add any of this functionality to it. We could also add in subscriptions. So we got our Academy right here, which is a subscription. We could go here and it's really simple to set up. Now we got a subscription. I could even add a free trial. There's so many possibilities we could do. Now, if we go back here, there is a free and paid plan. So you got the free plan and then the free plan, you could get enough to get started. So say uh, you do just got a couple products. Your client has a couple products or you do, and you want to sell them without adding uh, WooCommerce to it. You could go ahead and sell them using this on the free plan. And then if you want to get Get really creative and optimize the conversion rates on it and be able to like add things where you can sell more well there's a lot of different other uh, features right here inside the pro plan now one of the most useful features that i found with this is going to be right here the zapier there is so much we've been able to do with Zapier. So many integrations I've been able to do with it. It is crazy. And there are just more being added. In fact, let me see here. Uh, we can go to the change log. They're very open with it. They also have, let me see if I can find it, a roadmap. So they got a roadmap here as well. And you can see just how active they are. They're constantly releasing new integrations, new features, and the development team behind this is solid. I'm a fan of Studio Cart, there's no doubt. I feel this is one of the top plugins right now for selling on websites if you are gonna be selling courses or subscriptions or anything like that. Uh, one thing is the pricing. I have to let you know, it's not cheap. It's nothing to sneeze at. But I do understand this price point. I understand it after using it because this tool, like I said, is powerful. It really is. You have the account dashboard. You have invoicing in there. You have your payment gateways. You have your upsells, your funnel builder. Everything Thrivecart could do right here as a third-party tool, you could do on your own WordPress website. It's lightweight, it's fast, and you have incredible support. Like the support, hands down, is a 10. They got a 10 from me. Now I do got some tutorials in the works with Studio Card because I've been doing a lot with it and I do believe that this is a tool that WordPress developers should be looking at to use for selling singular items, uh, subscriptions, courses, coachings, things like that. Well, I hope this video helps out. And if you like geeking out on stuff like this, finding new tools for web design and development, 
and things that are just fun to use and help you out your productivity and your overall workflow, then don't forget to like and subscribe because I got more of these videos coming out. This is just the start of a new series of tools and resources for web designers and developers. And I'll be back again with more tools and resources for everyone out there to geek out on. All right. Thank you. See you soon.